6, the world welcomes Pope Francis I, the first pontiff ever to come from the Americas. Cardinal Bergoglio chose the name Pope Francis and has already addressed the crowd gathered outside the Vatican. And tonight, people are wondering what kind of leader he will be to the world's Catholics. That certainly includes those at the University of Dayton, where uh, Jackie Sprague is live tonight. Jackie? Well, right now, a sheet hangs over the doors here at the chapel on UD's campus in celebration of that new pope. It's a Catholic tradition that now means so much more for one student here. Alejandro Trujillo is a freshman here on the University of Dayton's campus. He watched the announcement of the new pope this afternoon. Trujillo was thrilled to see that the new pope, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, the Archbishop of Buenos Aires, was chosen. He's the first non-European leader of the church in more than a thousand years. Pope Francis is also the first Latin American pope. Many people across the world, like Trujillo, are hoping he will bridge the gap between Europe and the global south, home to a bulk of the world's Catholics. I'm really excited about it. I, I'm, a, I'm Hispanic. I was born in Mexico. And so the fact that it's uh, the first non-European pope and he's from Argentina, so another Spanish-speaking country, is really, it's really exciting for me. I kind of... It feels like it's bringing the church more, making it more global. Now, campus leaders tell me the church here plans to hold a mass in a couple days to celebrate the new pope. Reporting live at UD's campus, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.